what's up guys express is on you or express and i'm back with another tutorial this time i'll show you this in my discord server so all the people who are in my discord knew this was gonna happen so i'm gonna make tutorial of a shape banner art for twitter we start with a file also. we go on 3000 pixels on a thousand make a new layer just fill in your backgrounds with white and you can just do that by making a new layer and going to your paint bucket tool and just click in click once and you have a white background the next thing you want to do is take a rectangle so the go to the rectangle tool make a nice real rectangle and hold an alt and hold in shift so you have you make sure it's a square there you go and you can fill that up with um, whatever color you want i'm going to pick the same reds that i have on the banner so how i'm going to do that i'm going to make a new layer so you have to click on it and you have filled in the specific square so what you want to do is now double click on it go to stroke give it a stroke put it on the outside give the same color as your square as your square and put it on 16 and you have uh, rounded edges now we can see that round edges what you want to do now is just make it a normal layer and just rasterize layer type just turn that around and put that in the middle and if you want to make sure it's in the middle just press ctrl r and you have those little side lines and just snap it in the middle and snap it in the middle and now you are sure it's in so the next thing you want to do is just copy that specific layer double click on the bottom layer just press color overlay pick the same red and just make it a bit darker just go a bit down like that and go above that layer make that a normal layer so rasterize layer type move your bottom layer a bit to the left I don't know, like that. Select that specific square, so the layer. So hold in control and then click on that specific layer. And then press delete on the top layer, like that. And then deselect by control D. And then you move your bottom square back to the normal place. And there you go. You have a little dark edge to the right. Simple as that. Now, now you, what you want to do with that, you want to just select both layers. So how you want to do that is hold in shift and click on the top layer and the bottom layer. And then control E, so you merge them together. And now control J, so you copy them, make them make it a bit bigger. So just hit control T and then you have, uh, let me show you, hit control T and then you have a little um, edit, edit tool or like how you want to edit. And then you want to hold in alt and just want to make it a bit bigger i think i want to make it that big and now you want to put that on the side like that now you want to copy that again and also move that on the side i'm going to transform that and flip it horizontal so ctrl t and right click and you have flipped horizontal so it looks the same now it looks the same as the right side you have even copy the left one double click on that and go to color overlay color overlay and go to white you're not gonna see that in the background i'm gonna make the background a, a dark black now so you can see the white better there you go make the white a bit smaller like that there you go looks looks nice now what you want to do is make that a normal layer so rasterize layer style so right click on that layer and rasterize layer style there you go make a new layer hold an alt so you clip mask that on that white uh, square click on that take your brush tool pick a black put the hardness on zero and put the size around 400 and now you just want to do is color in the sides and the bottom the sides and the bottom like that and put the opacity on 30 there you go now what you want to do is merge those two layers ctrl e them so they merge ctrl j them and then ctrl t them and then flip them horizontal and put it on the other side there you go now you have same sides both sides same sides okay what you want to do now is go to your bottom layer so the black one make a new one make a new layer go to your elliptic tool so make a circle uh, I would say about about this big. Take the same color as your red. 
Just fill that in with your bucket tool on the new layer. Click that, deselect by Ctrl D. And we want to move it in the middle. We're going to work on that. I'm just going to move it in the middle. I'm just going to put it on top of everything for now. So I can work with that for that specific circle. So I am going to select a new layer. Make it a clipping mask. So hold an Alt and go over the circle. And you have a little arrow. That's a clipping mask. There you go. Go over to your color. So we have taken a red. But this time you want a darker red. So we're going back to back down. So we have a darker red. Still around the brush 500. And hardness 0. And you want to just do the bottom. Bottom side. Fill that in. Fill that in. Okay. Now you want to make another layer. Another clipping mask on the same thing. Now we want to take up black and just the bottom as well. Just want to fill that a little bit in, just the sides. There you go. I'm going to put the opacity a bit down. And put the opacity on the red also a bit down. Okay, now on top of everything, you make a new layer. And again, the clipping mask. But this time, we're not going to take a darker color, we're going to take a lighter color. Like that. I'm going to go on the top. Uh, I'm gonna move the opacity a bit down like 70 make another new layer but now with white like white reddish like like that move the opacity also a bit down like 90 80 something like that now what I want to do is select all of these layers and control E then there you go, and I'm going to put one right here. That's the same thing I did on the other tutorial. I'm going to copy that, so Ctrl J. Ctrl T there for turn it around, upside down, and put that on the other side. Now what you want to do is uh, duplicate one of them, one of the circles, make it way bigger, uh, something like that. Put that below everything. Uh, you want to make that a bit darker, so you want to do the clipping mask again. So press Alt, make a new layer. There you go. And I want to do a more black red. And just want to fill that in a bit. There you go. Uh, brightness and contrast. Make sure it's a clipping mask. And just make the, uh, the, la the bottom one, like the, the, the back circle, uh, less less bright and less contrast. Put the opacity of the circle a bit down. Like something like that. 36. Now you want to do the just copy that again. All those things. Uh, select everything. Ctrl E them so this together. And then Ctrl J them. And then Ctrl T them. So you want to turn that around. And make sure. And then put it on the other side. There you go. And now they're on the same. Now what you want to do is make a new layer make another circle just a white circle fill that in with white so make a new layer and fill that in there you go Control t and move it so you move it a couple layers up so i can see it and then make a new layer clipping mask on the circle take a, a gray color like that. take a brush and go over on the clipping mask and do something like that now take a black. So put your, I'm gonna put the opacity a bit down on that. Let take a black. Another clipping mask. And just a black like that. There you go. Merge everything together. Control E, select everything. And just put that as a little detail. I'm gonna put that behind the big circles. Going to copy that. I'm going to put that on the bottom, like that. Going to make sure that this one is above, like that. I'm going to duplicate the first first circle we made. Duplicate that. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I'm going to put that in the left corner. Put that all the way at the back. Make it a bit bigger. I'm going to duplicate that again. I'm going to put one right here. There you go. So what you want to do now is make a new layer, make another circle, fill that in with white, 
add image your bucket tool, deselect, Ctrl D, double click, remove the opacity, so put a stroke on that, put the color white on it, put the size around 13, 10, something like that, make it a bit smaller, and just put that as some, I'm going to make that a bit smaller. There you go, I'm also making the stroke a bit smaller, around 8. There you go, duplicate that again, Ctrl J, make it a bit smaller. Put one besides him, so hold in shift, select the other layer, Ctrl J, Ctrl T, and just move him somewhere else. Okay, there you go. Um, so what you want to do now, you can put your logo in the middle. Um, that's what I did, I'm going to do that again. That type, Ctrl T, make it a bit smaller, make sure it's in the middle. There you go, put my logo right there. All I want to do now is finish the banner color and everything. So what I want to do is go to brightness and contrast. I put the contrast a bit higher. I put the brightness also a little bit higher, but not, but not as high. Go to a vibrance, put the saturation a bit up, like a five, and also the vibrance a bit like a three. Go to hue and saturation. I'm going to change the color and look what fits best. Because I like the red, but you know, there's always other colors that, that, that are nice. Like I like this purple pinkish. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I clicked on the hue and saturation. Take a black color and just I'm going to move some dots like that. You see? And now I can make it a bit more orangey on some sides, or I can make it a bit more purple, blue, whatever, what, whatever fits. I like something like this, this is, I, I like this, this uh, purple, bluish, this, uh, what you, what we want is above everything, we want to take that color, so that pinkish, and just splash a little dot, and then splash a little dot there, splash a little dot there. Now you want to do the same thing with the purple on the same layer, just splash a little dot somewhere, there you go, and put that on the screen. Put the opacity a bit down, like on 30 or something. There you go. And what I also did is uh, I um, made a little spotlight on top. So I take a brush, make a new layer, put it on white, and do a little, do a little dab. Put the opacity a bit down. There you go. I also made a new layer, taking a black tool and just color in the sides and the bottom. There you go, and also put the opacity a bit down, 40% or something. There you go. How you do that is click the first layer, go all the way to the bottom, and hold in shift, and you selected everything. What I want to do is just Ctrl J it, and then Ctrl E it. So you have selected everything. Now you want to do is take the rectangle tool, select everything, and then layer via cut. Delete that other layer, doesn't matter. Uh, go to filter, camera raw filter. And now we're going to play with the colors a bit more. Okay, I'm going to not change the first one, I'm just gonna make the exposure a bit less, put the contrast a bit higher, put the highlights also a bit less, and put the shadows also a bit less. The whites can pop out a bit, but the blacks also have to be a bit down. The clarity, we can put that up. Um, highlights, I guess we can put that up. And the lights, a bit down, I guess. The darks, a bit down. I wanted to make it a bit dark, but also not too dark, you know, like that. Okay, now we have the hue and saturation and luminosity. I'm just I'm going to see what color fits best. Okay, now we go to the presets and I'm gonna press the Y and see what like if something is nice or something isn't nice. Like, I like the vivid one. Yeah, let's go with the vivid. Press OK. There you go. So yeah, this is actually the tutorial. You have your shape banner or Twitter header. It's it's really nice. It has something. You can add more circles, more squares. This is just a basic and simple uh, design. But yeah, if you use this banner, uh, please tag me in your progress or in your banner that you made. I always, always like to see what my fans made. So yeah. 
Also, if this video hits, I don't know, say 50 likes, I'll put this on my store. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Peace.